Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Electronics Maddy. In this video, I am going to uh, demonstrate the simulation of a 24 pulse control rectifier in MATLAB. So let's get started. This is the circuit diagram of a 24 pulse control rectifier. This can be built in two ways uh, by having two 12 pulse control rectifier or by having uh, four six pulse control rectifier. So I am going to do the uh, one with respect to four six pulse control rectifier. So this is a circuit diagram. Uh, so I demonstrated a video with respect to 18 pulse control rectifier as well this is basically an extension of that one so we'll be having one more uh, bridge and one more zigzag transformer so uh, we will get started with the, the simulation of a 24 pulse control rectifier all right let's go to all right, here we are. So uh, one of the most uh, important features that MATLAB has provided is uh, that we can search the components in Simulink library browser. So initially we will be requiring a three phase uh, source. So search for three phase source and you will be getting it uh, right over the top at this point. Uh, add this block to our model. We will be requiring a VI measurement. So we will be searching for VI measurement block. Add this block as well. Uh, once these two are added, we will be requiring a PLL synchronization block. Uh, with respect to three phase systems so search for it and scroll right at the bottom you'll be having that uh, so over here choose the one that is there in three phase because the circuit is with respect to three phase once this is also done we will be requiring a transformer uh, which is basically a zigzag transformer three phase zigzag transformer so search for transformer you will be getting it over here zigzag phase shifting transformer so this is the one that we need add this block as well once all of these are added uh, we would be requiring a pulse generator block so search for pulse uh, uh, you can only search by pulse you will be getting it so search for pulse and uh, you'll be getting it right at the bottom uh, scroll a little down uh, over here and uh, you will be getting it with respect to 6 pulse and 12 pulse but we'll be choosing uh, with respect to 6 pulse because we are using four different 6 pulse uh, thyristor bridge so once this is added uh, we will be requiring a universal bridge that is a thyristor so search for thyristor uh, you will be uh, getting it right at the bottom over here so add this block as well this is a 6 pulse thyristor once all of these are added we will be requiring a series RLC circuit which can be later converted to an inductor resistor or capacitor respectively and uh, once this is also needed we uh, added we will be requiring a voltage measurement block in order to measure the voltage at the load end and uh, we would also require an RMS value block so search by mean you in case you want mean you can add that as well but we'll only be uh, checking the RMS value that is there don't choose this one this is used for DSP signals and system processing scroll it down use the one this is uh, this is the one that we are supposed to use so add this block as well once this is added we will be requiring a display so search for display uh, you will be uh, getting it over here at this block and we also require a scope so add that block as well apart from all these we also require a constant block uh, which is used as uh, triggering uh, with respect to the thyristors we will be giving the phase delay in this constant block so add this block as well so once we have added all the blocks uh, we will be placing them in appropriate positions so that uh, we can get started uh, with our circuit connections so we'll place this right at the top we'll place this just at adjacent to the thyristor bridge we'll place this at this particular position and supply right at the left end so that uh, it is very convenient for us to see how it looks like as the circuit is very big uh, we need to uh, make them look uh, in a way that we will be able to read the circuit as what is being done so we will be uh, requiring uh, multiple zigzag transformers first up let's enter the parameters with respect to it and then we will be copy pasting them so we'll be changing this uh, to be equal to uh, 15 to 10 power 3 so change this and the supply frequency for us is 50 hertz you can try it for 60 as well but uh, as per uh, this uh, different country standards i'm following 50 in this case and uh, once this is done uh, click on ok and i will be uh, copy pasting this uh, four times so that uh, we'll be connecting it to four uh, universal bridge so in this particular fashion so once this is done um, I will be copy pasting the universal bridge four times as well so that they are placed uh, right adjacent to each other with respect to this exact transformer so that they can be given directly uh, with respect to the connection is concerned I'll place this exactly at the center uh, just for the way it looks like and I'll be connecting uh, 
this uh, with respect to a b c respectively i'll be changing the supply voltage uh, say equal to 254.05 volts that is nothing but the rms value 440 divided by root 3 click on okay once this is done uh, one more important point change the frequency to 50 hertz so very important point uh, so once this is done double click on this we don't need a current measurement block so click on okay disable that and uh, once all of these are done now uh, we will be uh, connecting this voltage at this particular point and this in turn is given to uh, omega t this is basically a pll synchronization block which actually synchronizes with respect to our supply um, this is available in latest versions with respect to matlab there is another feature that has abbcc that is another uh, Tr triggering uh, pulse uh, generator that could be given but this is the one that is used uh, this eliminates uh, the synchronization uh, uh, the uh, elimination with respect to frequency is concerned it performs certain functions with respect to it uh, if you have to study the details of it search for this in matlab you will be getting it uh, once all of these are done i will be connecting a with respect to now uh, before that uh, let's do one thing that is short all these terminals uh, the negative terminals we are not using that uh, according to the configuration in which they are to be connected uh, for the simulation environment we'll be shorting this and uh, we will be uh, connecting all the positive terminals with respect to the supply uh, according to our design so uh, we will be connecting it to a we'll be connecting this to b and we will be connecting this to c so once these are done we will be doing the same thing that is with respect to a we'll be connecting this to b so be very careful in case you uh, misconnect them from one with respect to another you will not get the exact output that is required so pay attention while uh, connecting this uh, with respect to the phases and uh, we'll be doing the same with respect to the fourth zigzag transformer over here as well so once these are done i will be connecting uh, the respective uh, terminals from the transformer to the universal bridge uh, in this particular fashion i'll be doing it for uh, all the four cases so uh, connect it connect it in this particular fashion so once all of these are done we will be uh, entering the parameters with respect to the firing angle is concerned once all of these are done uh, our next step is to uh, connect the negative with respect to positive so uh, it forms a 24 pulse uh, control rectifier and we will be uh, connecting this to this point we will be changing this to be an inductor uh, just to ensure that the current uh, uh, at the load end will be appearing uh, with respect to the current we will design the value of inductor so i am not looking into an exact design procedure i am just uh, looking at a way in which this circuit can be simulated however these are used for various purposes so based on your requirement uh, you can design the values of capacitor and uh, the inductor and in addition you can also add an harmonic filter with respect to it uh, i've also simulated a, uh, a video on that uh, i'll be choosing capacitor to be equal to 10 to 10 uh, six, uh, 10 microfarad so uh, i've also done a video on uh, how to uh, perform harmonic elimination uh, so please do refer to it that is uh, related to inverter but that can also be done with respect to rectifiers as well so i've chosen the resistance value to be equal to 1400 ohm so in case you have this question of uh, why this uh, value is very high uh, or you can uh, try it for different values as well but i have considered a rheostatic load uh, with respect to my laboratory and based on that i have considered this particular design and uh, i will be connecting this uh, to the inductor the capacitor uh, will reduce the uh, ripple the output so based on the amount of ripple that you want to eliminate at the output you will have to design the value of capacitor so uh, i'll be connecting the resistor at this point i'll be connecting uh, the voltmeter across the load uh, the resistive load that is used and connect it to the rms block one of the most important mistakes that uh, commonly is uh, made is that change the fundamental frequency based on the supply that you have and then uh, connect it to the display in this particular fashion the output of the display is to be given to the scope so uh, or from directly from the voltmeter you can give it uh, once all of these are done i will be uh, uh, entering the parameters with respect to the firing angle so i am choosing a firing angle of 20 in this case uh, click on ok and uh, one more important thing to remember is the pulse width in this case so for 360 degree you have four uh, six pulse isn't it so divide 360 by uh, four you will be getting 90 so 
press uh, like click on uh, ok once you have entered 90 degree with respect to it and connect this uh, this is the firing angle so don't get confused with that pulse width and this one this is the one that is used to trigger that is after 20 degree uh, the we are triggering it for a value of alpha equal to 20 degree so once all of these are done uh, we need uh, similar synchronization uh, blocks with respect to the other uh, four universal bridges isn't it so control c control v so we'll be placing them um, right uh, adjacent to them so that we can clearly see how it looks like um, i'll be doing it for the other configurations as well in this particular fashion and i'll be scrolling a little down over here um, once all of these are done i will be uh, requiring another pulse generator block uh, with respect to all these three uh, bridges so copy paste another bridge over here in this particular fashion so I will be copy pasting this again uh, at this particular position and we will be requiring another bridge over here from this point I'll be connecting here. So once um, all of these are done I will be uh, taking the synchronization from this point as well so it doesn't matter or we can directly take it uh, without synchronization block uh, also we can do uh, rather we can include that or we cannot uh, we will be able to simulate it without it by directly taking omega t from this point as well because they belong to be in synchronism with respect to each other for all the values so uh, similarly i will be doing it with respect to uh, this particular uh, thyristor bridge as well and uh, the firing angle can directly be taken from this point uh, that is 20 i will be taking this at this position so that i will be able to connect it to this particular point for all the values so firing angle is constant throughout with respect to all the other bridges that is 20 degree and uh, i have connected with respect to the frequency terminal can be kept open this is the one block that is used to check how the pulses are generated with respect to each uh, thyristor bridge so we have connected uh, the circuit uh, according to our requirement so we have entered the parameters of our three phase source and uh, with respect to uh, the zigzag transformers we have entered all the parameters that are required so once all of these are done we will be able to uh, simulate them change the block that is basically the power give block so search for power give and uh, add that one so it's one of the most important uh, blocks for the simulation to so a very important point to remember is to uh, connect the respective gate terminals from the output uh, at this point i will be doing it for the other blocks as well uh, with respect to all the universal bridges that we are connecting and once this is done we will be setting the simulation time to say equal to 0.3 or 0.5 uh, be very careful with respect to this and uh, i'll be clicking on run all right it does take a lot of time to simulate so be patient um, so i've just trimmed the video with respect to the time that is taken for simulation that's it so uh, double click on the scope in order to check how the waveform looks like it takes some time to settle in and uh, this is the region where we have to pay attention towards with respect to our output so these are our pulses and uh, they are fluctuating uh, with respect to it so these ripples can be further eliminated by choosing suitable value of uh, the capacitor and inductor at the output terminal and the amount of harmonics at the source uh, current uh, can also be eliminated by designing a suitable filter so we can check the output uh, the supply voltage waveforms as well and compare it with respect to the output terminals so i will be connecting this uh, between two phases that is a and b and i will be giving it to the scope in this phase so I will be uh, sim running now let's right now uh, we'll be double clicking on the scope I'll be categorically separating them by using this functionality and uh, once that is done uh, we will be uh, so this is our source uh, voltage with respect to phase voltage uh, we are supplying 254.04 uh, volts of RMS value and if you see gradually it is taking some time because we have only given 0.3 a simulation time since it takes a lot of time to simulate uh, I've reduced this but gradually from this point if you see it settles so uh, the these are the pulses that are produced so uh, this is the point where the circuit uh, stabilizes and uh, these are the pulses that are obtained so uh, the amount of source current uh, harmonics can be eliminated by using a harmonic filter which is demonstrated in one of our videos uh, so that's it for today uh, in case uh, you have any questions feel free to by typing in your questions in your comment section below uh, in case you like this video please do like it share it and subscribe to our channel for regular updates thanks for watching this video please do keep supporting thank